It's Christmas Eve! <laughs> got my Christmas pajamas on, got the tree up, got all of the decorations out, and oh my god, it's Christmas tomorrow! Ah! Are you excited for Christmas? Yes, me too. <laughs> My name is Hetty and on this channel we discuss all things positive, high vibe and how to use a lot of attraction to manifest the life of your dreams. If you haven't already, then please hit the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you do not miss any more wonderful content like this. Now let's get into today's very Christmassy video. So it is Christmas Eve. Oh my god, this year has gone so quick. How is it Christmas Eve already? I literally feel like I blinked and it was last Christmas, like I don't even know what's happened this year. Obviously there's been a lot going on but I myself am looking forward to tomorrow. Christmas day for me is always a really big family day and it's just really nice to get to spend quality time with all my family. So this evening I am going out with some of my friends, it's obviously a smaller group but I will be still seeing my friends. Christmas Eve for me is a friends time and Christmas day is for my family. Let me know how you spend Christmas as well. I would love to know what everyone's different traditions are. Some people have different traditions that they do on Christmas day or Christmas Eve. I always find that really interesting. I think there's some wacky ones that I've seen out there. So let me know what your Christmas Eve and Christmas day traditions are. Now, you'll notice my background's a little bit different. I've tried to be a little bit more Christmassy in this video. Um, so this is our lovely family Christmas tree now this tree i don't know if you can see from there but it is extremely chaotic it is not one of these trees that you see where it's like matching like gold colors and red colors and like it's all coordinated like our house at christmas is literally just any space that you can find fill it with all the christmas ornaments that we have kind of stacked up over the years one of my favorite christmas decorations is this little guy here i bought last christmas um yeah, I absolutely love him. I think he is so cute. He's just so sweet. As one of our family traditions, we keep the same tree. This is a tree that my mum and dad bought. It's got to be over 20 years ago now. Um, my mum isn't with us anymore, so we like to keep things like that tradition on days like these. I think it's all about family. The little angel at the top, um, which signifies my mum on Christmas, so I absolutely love that. Um, yeah, I'm just going to show you some of the decorations really quickly because some of you will probably absolutely cringe and be like, that's not even Christmas, why the hell's that on your tree? <laughs> so here's a little angel, we've got a little breast cancer ribbon on there for my mum. <laughs> this, one of my faves. I drew this when I was three, which is why it's got a number three on. It is literally a piece of paper wrapped it like look at my drawings to be fair fairly good for a three-year-old yeah I was a little artist there this little guy i don't even know what the hell he is he's like a christmas spider let's just go with it one of my all-time faves and i bought this for my dad um a few christmases ago so just that it was so tacky and horrendous like what the hell but yeah i um i thought this one was pretty fun <laughs> So that was a little tour of my tree, just thought we'd get that out of the way, seeing as it's behind me and I love Christmas. Um, now let's us get into today's video. So I wanted to make today's video kind of centred on everything that's gone on in the year and kind of going into a fresh year with a new perspective and how to tackle our fears and struggles head on. Now this is something I've been thinking about for the past few weeks, so I've kind of thought, well now we're almost at 2021. I actually want to go into a new year and think, how can I make this year different for me? How can I totally get over all my fears and all the biggest obstacles in my life? Now, you can view this on one hand as fears that are like spiders and snakes and all that kind of stuff and fears that are like personal worries and fears and doubts. Now, I'm taking the both approach of that. If you stay until the end of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some of the challenges that I am booking in for next year. Um, they are really exciting and really out of my comfort zone. So stay tuned till the end if you want to have a look at those. But I'm going to be sharing with you some tips on how we can actually begin to fall in love with our fears, how we can begin to move forward from them. And once 
we fall in love with them, how that improves our life so much more. I very recently watched an amazing, well, a few amazing podcast episodes of Kyle Cease and Lewis Howes literally changed my life like i think i've watched everything i can watch out there and then i come across someone new and a new perspective on the law of attraction and how to raise your vibes and all that kind of stuff and a large part of what he speaks about is how to actually fall in love with your fears and i have fallen in love with his idea about falling in love with your fears and i've been working on this myself the only reason we are actually ever scared of anything is because we can measure how much we will lose we cannot actually measure how much we will gain from walking away from a situation. So this could be a relationship, it could be a job. We can't measure how much we will gain in the future because we cannot see exactly what's going to happen in the future. We can only measure how much we are going to be leaving behind in the past. So that is a huge reason why people have fears and stay stuck in that past and stay stuck in exactly the same patterns, exactly the same day-to-day -day routine as to where they are and their life does not change. I hope you're taking me seriously, by the way, with these on my head. <laughs> I just remember to have them on. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we can only measure our past. We cannot measure our future. And that is a huge reason why people do not walk away from situations that they know they will be better from if they left. Now, we often have this voice inside of us that is telling us, it just pops into our head and it's like, wouldn't it be a great idea if you started your own? shoe business or whatever it's going to be and then immediately our ego and our rational mind our past almost self comes in and says yeah but if you do that you are walking away from this amount of salary a year this amazing company these amazing company benefits and then you kind of talk yourself out of it and then that's why we don't ever follow our passion and our dreams a lot of the time because we're holding on to that fear. We're holding on to the fear of the unknown. We're really fearing what could happen in front of us because we cannot see anything in front of us. We only have any relationship to what has gone in the past. We only know what has been. That's our safety blanket. That is our safety net. Now, in my personal opinion, I say the more something scares you is the more reason that you should do it. The more that something would fill you with like excitement and nerves and it's really scary if you did do it but you have that feeling that if you did do it something absolutely amazing could come off the back of it that is more of the reason that you should do it we should only do things that we're passionate about and we should only go for things in life that really make us happy and make us feel that excitement when we wake up in the morning or that nervous energy when we're about to do something personally myself um an example of something I did a couple of years ago to get over one of my fears was I was petrified of heights. I do not know why. I've been up like the Empire State, the CNN Tower. Um, I've been in some really high places. Like I did, um, you know, them go ape things at like Centre Parks, which is like an obstacle course, like really high up and you're walking on ropes. And I was absolutely petrified and... I literally absolutely hated it, like almost crying, did not find it fun at all. But then when you get down from something and you've achieved it and you're like, I kind of faced my fear there, you get that rush of adrenaline and that feeling like you are absolutely invincible. So not long after that, I decided to do a skydive for charity. Now that's probably the extreme you could go to with heights. I even chose the higher option because I thought, why not? If I'm gonna do something and conquer my fear, I may as well not do it halfway and just go as far as I can. So I think it was about 15,000 feet that I jumped out of a plane. Now, for someone who is terrified of heights, honestly, going up there the whole time building it up I was kind of just thinking not really thinking about it and then the moment I was up there the moment I was sat on the edge of that plane about to just jump out of it all that fear had kind of just gone totally from me and I felt so free I felt like I've never felt like that in my life I felt so on top of the world like I could accomplish anything and I even at that moment felt if my parachute doesn't open like that's okay like i have conquered a fear i've actually come all this way up here and done something this amazing now that might sound a bit extreme to people believe me like i don't you know i don't have a death wish <laughs> but it was literally the most eye-opening experience for me in conquering my fears and actually pushing myself way outside my comfort zone as to anything that i've ever done before so actually going out and head on tackling our fears 
conquering them, learning to love them, we will raise our vibes so much, we will do so many more things and we'll stop being so scared. Now a huge fear, something that I have still suffered with a little bit and used to, and you probably wouldn't notice it from me being on camera, was a little bit of social anxiety. So sometimes when I go out or I'm on my own, you know, I'm just going to the shops, that fear of bumping into someone or doing something embarrassing. And so a lot of the time for a while, I used to avoid doing that as much as possible. I'd ask someone to come with me to the shop or I'd go, you know, I'd try and do something with someone or put it off until I knew it was a time where not as many people would be about. Um, and I just get that fear of just, you know, I just get that fear. A lot of people, a lot of people probably done it before they're going out. They'll be like, right, I'll have a drink <laughs> before I go, calm the nerves. But I got over that, but actually I at one point decided to go out sober as much as possible so that I could literally go out and be totally me and conquer that fear of having that social anxiety head on and not thinking if I don't have a drink, then everyone's gonna think I'm totally weird and I'm just gonna be sat in the corner quiet. Actually pushed me outside of my comfort zone so much more. And by doing that, I stopped missing out on going out and opportunities and other things. Another example is me starting my own YouTube channel and filming. Um, I genuinely could not have hated anything worse than talking on camera. <laughs> anything like that, camera in my face, no thank you. And I decided again, push myself out of my comfort comfort zone go on camera do something that scares that scares you i just got used to it after a while and now i absolutely love it and i love it so much i'm like i missed out for so many years on doing something like this talking and enjoying what i want to do so by conquering our fears we are allowing so many more wonderful possibilities to come into our own lives and we are opening up that door for so much more fun so much more joy new people new places who knows what's going to happen when we let go of our fears so a great way that kyle cease actually says to start the process of getting over your fears now you don't have to do what I have spoke about already and said, you know, if you're scared of heights, jump out of a plane. Personally, I think it's a great way. Just do it straight away head on. Um, but there can be other fears as well that maybe aren't as obvious that you can't just do an activity for. <laughs> so um, I'm going to give you some examples now of what Kyle Cease has spoken about and how we can actually just learn to love our fears. So these might be some common fears that people have. So when we have a fear, what I want you to do, I want you to sit there now and join in with me. Say this out loud. You can write it down if you want, if you're in a public space, or just say it in your head as loud as you can. Now, I want you to say with me any of your fears out loud. So it could be, I am so afraid of going out into public and embarrassing myself totally. So say your fear out loud. And as soon as you said it, you then say, and I love it pour that in say and I absolutely love that I am afraid of that you can say I don't know what is going to happen in my future and it scares me so much I have no idea what is coming or what life path I'm going to be on and I love it and the moment that you add that I love it and that you are sending love to that fear and allowing that space to open up inside you to accept that as part of you stop resisting it and worrying about it anymore you can immediately feel that release of the fear so much and a lot of the time when we say our fears out loud they can seem irrational and our, our ego will then actually say start to rationalize it in the back of our head so the ego will be like who said that but there's actually no proof to that or that's silly that's not going to happen every time you go out or obviously you know what you kind of want to do and we kind of almost end up rationalizing it back to ourselves once we've said it out loud so by saying our fears out loud and adding i love it on the end it really let's go of that tension that pressure that stress and you actually start to think you know what it's totally okay if i'm scared of that it's totally okay if i'm afraid of that if i don't know what i'm doing if i'm worried about what's going on in my life if i'm nervous about this if you know i'm scared of it whatever it is it's totally okay and it's totally natural and normal and the more you send love to that the more it is totally is taken out of the shadows and you're bringing that into the light a lot of the time we repress our fears because we are scared of certain things we say oh no 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 i'm scared of that i don't want that and we try and avoid situations or people or things anything that will remind us of those fears and that might bring that up but what we need to actually do 
is bring those fears and those worries, doubts, whatever it is to the surface and actually honor them and say, that is totally okay, I feel like that. I'm sending that part of me love and I accept that as part of me. And as soon as you do that, Honestly, it's not as scary anymore. So a huge part of letting our fears in, learning to love them, is creating the space within us and not having the resistance, allowing whatever it is to come up, to come up, because a lot of the time we don't allow that part of ourselves that has been struggling with those fears or doubts for so long to actually come out. And we only hold that darkness and that negative energy inside us more but by learning to love something and creating this space to let it in and let it out it works so much quicker it, it goes it dissipates it starts to become less and less and less and soon you will that will not even be a fear to you if you send love to it we can actually measure in life how far we're going to go by our willingness to accept the opposite of that so the more that we are able to accept the fact that we could lose all of our money lose all of our possessions the more open we are to the other end of receiving everything and having everything we have ever wanted the more we are open and accepting about the fact of death and the more we are okay about dying and accept it the more we are able to live now kyle cease recently spoke about this especially this year people have been locking themselves and fearing themselves inside their house <laughs> because they want to live but by doing that by locking themselves in and not accepting death and the fact that death is a possibility they aren't able to live to that full extent so when you look at it like that it seems so paradoxical that the more you accept death the more that you are able to live but you will see those people out there you'll know who i'm talking about the people who are so carefree and they are totally okay if tomorrow is their last day on earth because they know that they are going to make every single moment of today count and live it to the fullest the people who are so afraid of death often restrict themselves from doing fun things and things that they maybe would open them up to life-changing opportunities because they're holding that back it's the same in every single way the more we are willing to accept that we could be totally alone in a relation no no relationship for the rest of our lives the more open we are to the possibility of finding the truest highest most wonderful love in a partner out there so our willing to accept the opposite of what we'd want the total opposite end of the spectrum is how far we will actually be able to reach what we want so by accepting all of our fears and all that darkness inside of them and sending them love it actually opens us up to the total opposite end of the scale and it allows us to bring more light and more love more fun more joy more life <laughs> into our lives so i'm challenging you in 2021 to face and conquer your fears make this your christmas eve wish say i <laughs> say universe i wish the year of 2021 is the year i conquer all of my deepest darkest fears head on and I love that I love that I'm so scared to do that I'm so scared to conquer my fears but I love it I totally love that and accept it and I cannot wait for it now I said at the start of the video I was going to tell you about a few different things that I am going to do myself a few things that I am going to do I am first of all climbing Mount Kilimanjaro in October next year you will see a link actually below in my little description I'm doing this for charity so if you want to donate then please hit the just giving page below and donate every donation counts you can read my story it's exactly why i'm doing it there i am also going to be doing a bungee jump next year and i haven't booked the exact date in yet because of everything that's going on but bungee jump i used to be terrified of that um and a lot of people said it's worse than a skydive but I am definitely going to be conquering that fear. Now, my biggest physical fear has always been spiders. I have gradually gotten myself over that fear. Having done a psychology degree, <laughs> I learned a little bit of how we can, you know, uncondition ourselves to stop being fearful of especially objects. So, <laughs> oh, I'm laughing at myself seeing this. I am going to be holding a tarantula next year, a big, very fluffy, lovely tarantula. And I'm going to be doing that because I want to prove to myself that it is not going to kill me. It is just an animal. It is just something I don't even know where that bear came from. And it's just something I really want to do. Now that's all I've got planned at the moment, but if you have any other 
suggestions as to things, maybe things you find scary, um, let me know because I've been trying to think of these fears. I'm actually not that fearful of a lot. These are kind of my only little fears at the moment. Um, so I really want to face them head on. I'm going to be filming all of them and showing you how you can actually conquer your fears um, and just do them head on no matter how scared you are. You know, you might be at the last second thinking, oh, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to show to you and prove to you that you can do it and that you can have the most amazing experiences when you do. So stay tuned as well next year to watch, <laughs> watch me, probably an absolute wreck, terrified of everything that I'm going to be doing. I hope you all have the most wonderful Christmas Eve. I'm sending so much love and light and well wishes to all of you and your family. And thank you so much this year for staying with me and helping me grow my channel. It really means a lot. Thank you so much. I'm sending all my love to you all. I am still gonna be posting a few more videos between now and the end of the year crazy that it's the end of the year and until next time from me and little santa claus here keep spreading the positive vibes of love and i will see you soon